Hello and welcome to World News Today. A Brazilian judge has ordered the release of former President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva from prison. It comes after Brazil's Supreme Court voted to end a rule requiring convicted prisoners to go to jail after losing their first appeal. Dozens of supporters of the former president have gathered outside a prison in the city of Curitiba. Well, this is the scene you will see coming up on your screen now, live outside the prison in that southern city. President Lula was leader of Brazil between 2003 and 2010, but he was jailed last year. He was favorite to win last year's presidential election, but was imprisoned after being implicated in a major corruption investigation. Well, with me now is Candice Piette, America's editor for the BBC World Service. Candace, did you expect this to happen, this release? Well, we kind of had an idea it was going to happen because the ruling uh, by the Supreme Court was so clear that, uh, um, you know, that uh, prisoners who had been serving out while they were waiting for appeals, serving their sentences, that this was unconstitutional. And so there was no real reason why a lower court um, would, would, would not release Lula. The question is now is when he's going to go. I mean, he himself has said that uh, when he does go, he wants to speak to uh, those uh, supporters we've seen in front of the federal police building where his uh, prison has been. And uh, then he wants to go and talk to party members in the trade union offices in the town. And then he wants to go home to his apartment in Sao Paulo. And do we know when he might be able to do that? When exactly? Well, it's a question now of uh, court papers being released um, and for party, the, his organisers in the party to decide when that moment is. Um, but it certainly looks like it's gearing up for a, you know, a very good day for the left-wing supporters of, of Luis Ignacio Lula da Silva. And we can see some of those supporters now outside the prison. They're going to be happy about this. But what about the wider reaction? What kind of response are we expecting to this? Well, President Bolsonaro himself, who's a very a conservative, uh, uh, Brazil's relatively new uh, conservative president, has given instructions to his cabinet and all his, his, his government to, to stay silent on this matter. Um, we must remember that uh, the elections last year, Lula was considered uh, the lead um, candidate. He has great popularity still. Even though he was in jail, he was polling more points. If he had been released, he would have won the elections. Mm -hmm. So his release now, he can't, because of criminal charges against him, he can't enter politics again for at least, at least eight years, but he can certainly be a beacon for the left, and that beacon has definitely been sorely lacking at the moment in Brazilian politics. Mm -hmm. And he has always maintained that these charges against him were politically motivated. But what, if, could you just talk a bit more about what sort of effect on the politics that his release could have? Well, I think certainly um, it, there's, it's a question of being able to say what has not been said and to be able to counter some of the arguments. I mean, the PT, his workers' party, is a strong group in Congress, um, but it has always been a party which has been very much uh, focused and concentrated on its leader. And since that leader has been in jail for corruption, they've had to, they, in a sense, they've, they haven't had the moral ground. Now they can start, start to begin to fight that fight, which is already with these appeals against the, the, the uh, against the cases that still are outstanding against uh, um, uh, President Lula, they can they can they have a stronger voice now to be able to say um, that uh, you know that, that this was a politically motivated putting him away, that he's been martyred politically, and and that uh, and in fact there is an opportunity now for them to work and capitalise on that. But he himself cannot run again for president or any other office, can he? For, no, he cannot take any political office for eight years according to the constitution because he has, been, has a criminal record now. Um, but this doesn't mean he is not going to be a civic leader. A, 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 you, we will be hearing him addressing large crowds um, you know, at trade union meetings, at meetings of the left. And, um, and on television a lot, um, expressing a counter argument to some of the arguments that we've heard from the, the, the far right president and, and his, his officials. And this move by the courts to overturn this decision, what does it say about the justice system? This, I mean, this, uh, this particular ruling that um, that had put the defendant um, had to start serving his sentence while he was away, even though he was in, under appeal, um, has been seen um, uh, as, as something that, that is unconstitutional. So there's a return now to to an uh, to an idea that uh, you know Brazil has 
has got the chance um, to, to, you know, to, to address international norms and norms of justice. Having said that, this particular rule was very helpful in Brazil's uh, large uh, corruption investigations because it meant that many executives and uh, other politicians, uh, not as well as Lula, um, could, work, could, could, could go into a plea bargain situation. They were either going to go straight to jail while they were waiting for their appeals or they could plea bargain. So it, is, it has produced a lot of information for the justice system about, about the kind of corruption allegations in Brazil's huge corruption um, fight over the last couple of years. All right, Candice, thank you very much. I know you're going to be busy following up all the reactions from that story. Thanks for joining us.